Well, I guess I better go in and introduce myself. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Nice dog you got there. You must be Sunny Smiles, the one the good doctor told me about. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Sounds like a plan. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Sure Take do. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. All right. Shouldn't it be too hard? That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay, I'm in. Sounds like fun. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Ah. Bolt is sticking a little. I'm gonna have to get this cleaned out at some point. Come on, Sonny. Can't you run faster than that? Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. All right. Let's see what we can see. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. There's one. Headshot. And here's the other. Got him. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure, I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. There they are. Come on. Oh. 
Might as well harvest these for them hides and meat now. And eggs, I guess. Oh man, she looks like she's in trouble. I best try to help her. Load. Damn, Jerry. Cut it out, will you? You all right there, lady? Young lass, you okay? Holy moly! If you hadn't come here like you done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Well, thanks, lady. I'll just take a sip while I'm here. Might as well fill up my canteen. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Thanks. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Gonna hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Sounds like a plan. Howdy. If I recall, the schoolhouse is pretty close, so we might want to visit that first. Hey there, Cheyenne. How are you doing? Now that I have the time, I should see if those other geckos are still here. Ah, here they are. Get a little more hides and meat. Hides ought to be a pretty good source of income, at least until I can take on better jobs. I'll well, just leave a little turpentine and some horse nettle. Can tan them right up, make a nice tidy profit. Here's that schoolhouse she was talking about. Might as well collect the magazines or other stuff that's in these mailboxes. Oh boy, we got some giant mantises here. Old still yellow bugger. I heard their four legs can be made into a tasty meal, so I guess I'll just take those for now. Hop this fence. Ah, three Xander roots. Not a bad haul. And then she said the Brock flower was up by the graveyard. If I recall, I think that's where I was buried. The meaning go back there. Guess now I've got the uh, perfect excuse to.
Oh, art scorpion. Definitely gotta clean this gun out. And that sticking bolt only proves my point. Float flies. I thought there were only three. This changes things. Oh, there's only one now. And there. Ah, here's the Brock flowers. And this is where I was. This must have been where they were. Oh, these must have been the cigarettes Benny was smoking. I better take these with me, just in case. Maybe I can use them as evidence. Oh, well, I guess it's time to head back to uh, Sunny now. The ingredients. you got yeah these will do just fine just fine all right now we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder go on over to that campfire now give it a try okay guess I might as well uh, cook some gecko steaks while I'm at it hey that's not bad see all it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how sometimes it won't be a campfire you need might need to do some work on your guns and ammo maybe Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. All right, I'll do that. You uh, seem to have a bit of a tumbleweed problem here. There, it's rolling away now. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. 
What the hell is your problem? I don't know, what's your problem? Howdy there, ma'am. Would you happen to be Trudy? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Thanks. I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What are you going to do then? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Never heard of them. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. So I want to talk about something else. All right. Um, who was that man? No. Yeah, who was that man you were arguing He's with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. I'm trying to track down the uh, people who attacked me. Do you know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where were they heading? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Want me to look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Do you know the robot who rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. What does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. How long has he been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Never mind. Let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Um, does Good Springs get many visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Anything is interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Tell me about the NCR. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Why do you think the NCR and the Legion both want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. What can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. 
They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Well, uh, show me what you got for sale. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. I think I'll take this fixing things, this meeting people. Salesman Weekly. Just love these mags. And, um... Yeah, I'll take up your... Mm, take a bottle of wine and... A beer, why not? Another satisfied customer. I'll talk to you after I get your radio all fixed up. Be careful up. out there. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Are you implying that my work was shoddy? Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? Oh, that much. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Could use another bottle of wine. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Will do. See ya. Be careful out there. Alright, let's see about this Ringo feller.